Good afternoon everyone, this is Sergey Kromchenko from Los Angeles, California and today we're going to discuss two main things. Number one, fraud on the job market and number two, types of employment verification and how do they usually go after you get a job offer. But before we get directly into it, let me quickly introduce myself. I'm the founder of Comify QA Bootcamp that helps people to become a software QA engineer from scratch or to improve your existing skills. I've been on the market for about 10 years. I worked as an engineer, lead manager, senior engineering manager of SDAT. But now I help people like you to become a software QA automation engineers or manual QA engineers from scratch. Now it is time to talk about the fraud. Because lately I see more and more occurrences of the fraud on the job or QA or all IT market. What happens is a lot of times you will get an interview and that will be super easy quick interview for 20 to 30 minutes and then they will say okay you've got a job offer we're gonna send you a job offer soon and they might even send you actual job offer that you will sign. But the thing is last time it happened our student didn't even see the person who was interviewing him. He would just get a random email by saying we want to invite you and then he would get a job offer. But it's too easy isn't it? What? If you ever get such an email, make sure to verify that a company is legit and maybe even give a call to that company to the number that you will find online and make sure that that person that have sent you an email works for that company because you could easily be tricked into sharing your social security number or any kind of personal data. And another type of fraud that we saw recently with one of our students was that he got a job offer in the one that I was just explaining to you right now. And then they have sent him a paycheck and they said, you know what, we want you to grab that check. We want you to cash it out and go and pay to some company or send money to some company that is going to send you equipment. So usually when you get a job, they will send you an equipment such as laptop, couple of monitors or whatever else you need, chair, table, etc. But this time they said, we're not going to send you those items. We are going to send you a check that you will have to go to the bank and cash it out and pay to some certain company. If you ever see something like that, make sure to not to respond to that company and possibly share their name on the LinkedIn because those people will very likely try to trick other people just like you. Now, let's talk about a job verification. Whenever you're gonna get a job offer, there are two ways of the company to verify your data or to verify your previous experience. How many walkers have you killed? So the first way is to utilize actual company's HR to give a call to your manager, your lead or your director or just send you an email to verify that you did work for that company. The other way is to hire actually a third party company that does job verifications professionally. How many people you kill? and they will do job verification for your future employer. And this is the most common case on the market these days. Usually, the third-party company will reach out to you, the company you work for, and even possibly to the school you went to or university you went to. I had a such occasion that they even called the school that I went to, the high school back in Ukraine that I went to in 1996. And you know what? They did ask me for a phone number and they did call the English teacher because no one else could speak English very well. So they did call her and they did verify that I went to high school in Ukraine. Now let's talk about actual types of the job verification or employment verification as you could see. And I will go from the easiest one to the most difficult or challenging one. So the easiest one is an email verification. When you get a job offer, they will ask your employer or HR will ask you to share an email and a phone number of your previous manager or a couple of people from the company. So you will find a number or an email, you will share it and they will send a simple email with a couple of questions such as what were your strengths, what were your weaknesses, if they would like to hire you again, and others, very simple question. There will no be questions, something like how much did he make? That is completely on your side. They cannot legally ask your previous employer about it. Second type is a call. They will once again ask you for the information and they will give a call to the person you've specified as your manager or lead or director. Typically, these types of interviews or calls last for about 10 minutes where they will ask one more time same simple questions about your strengths and weaknesses and why did you leave the company? Why did you look for a new job? Third one, I would call this one 
forced email or call verification or employment verification through the call. So during this type of verification, they will not ask you or maybe they will ask you for a phone number and for an email. But what they gonna do, they're gonna find a phone number and an email of the company you work for online and they will give them a direct call to the HR department, for example, or they will email them and ask them if you did work for that company. That also can happen, but usually they ask you for a phone number and they, they don't waste their time. But I've seen these cases for maybe once or twice in my life or throughout the life of our school with the hundreds of students that we have. Fourth case is a rare one. Whenever you go through the employment verification, if for some reason they couldn't reach out to your manager, lead or director, or the email never arrived, or your manager didn't respond to them, they might even ask you for the pay stop. They might say, you know what? We couldn't reach out to anyone. Why don't you send us a copy or a picture of your pay stop? So what you will have to do, you will have to find a pay stop and share it with them. But this is another place where the fraud can be hidden. This is the place where the fraud, fraudulent company might ask you for your personal data. So make sure that you will hide all the personal information which will be located on your pay stop. Whichever information you don't want to share, make sure to hide it and only then send it to them. But one more time, this is a very rare case scenario. It happens maybe once out of 100 cases when people get the job or maybe out of 200 cases. So no worries, usually they will simply give a call to the number that you have specified or to an email address that you have specified whenever you sent it to them. And now fifth one and the most uncommon one, W2 form or a copy or 1099, whichever you had. So I have never seen such an occurrences throughout the life of our school. So none of our previous students ever got the request to get the copy of their W-2 or 1099, but it is possibly that they will do so. Once again, it will only happen if your manager didn't respond to an email, your manager didn't respond to a call multiple times. Only then they might ask you for a pay stub or even for a W-2. But I never had such a cases and I would doubt you will ever have it. But just be ready that they might ask you for it, but also be aware that whenever you send your W-2 form, there will be your social security number. There will be your personal information that you might want to hide before you actually share it. Because if it's a fraudulent company, they might use it to take some loans on your name or to do other fraudulent activity. Great, now you know quite a few different types of employment verification that you will go through or you already did go through in the past. If you guys think that I've missed something or you would like to add anything to it, please make sure to do that by adding a comment right below this video. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to our channel and to hit that big fat thumb up button below. Thank you for watching us and I will see you next time.